Ale, I want you to give us some kind of Conmebol expertise here. What is the real challenge of traveling and playing in Ecuador in a situation like this? If you were to pick out a place as one of the most difficult places to go get a result at in South America, you would start at La Paz. Then after that, you may be going to the heat of Barranquilla. But right there next to La Paz and Barranquilla is Quito. The difference in altitude between La Paz and Quito is not that much. You're talking about 11,942 feet in La Paz to 9,350 feet in Quito in terms of elevation. Compare that to Buenos Aires, 82 feet. 82 feet of elevation in Buenos Aires. There is a huge difference in going up to the mountain in Quito. When these guys are flying in Ecuador, when they feel good about themselves, they're nearly impossible to beat. That's a caveat. Ecuador is not playing well. And this is a team that is going nowhere. They've been eliminated. They have been disappointed in the second half of qualifying. So if you're Argentina, this is not ideal. But you have a chance against a team that has nothing to play for. It's all about you and what you do. If Argentina plays up to their potential, they should get the result. But the difficulties are there because altitude is an issue in Quito just like it is an issue in La Paz. How do you think Ecuador approaches this game? I mean, it's a huge scalp that they can, they can rack up. Uh, th th there are a couple of... I have a couple of thoughts about this. On the one hand, I think that Ecuador would like to spoil the party for Argentina. That they would like to be the team that keeps Argentina from going to the World Cup. The other part of me, the, the more cynical and less naive part of me, thinks that eh, there may be things that are going on behind closed doors and conversations. Ooh. And you scratch my the back, I scratch your I love it. Dark alleys going on because I, it, it happens in South America. I'm not here to deny it, but, and I'm only suggesting that I wouldn't be surprised if Argentina were dominant against Ecuador, even in Quito. You'd be surprised? That surprised me what you just came <laughs> up with there. No. <laughs> and you're right, by the way. 11,000 feet and all that, you're an expert in combat ball. But as far as Argentina, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't win this game, no. Shaka? Argentina go and get it done. They, they, whenever Argentina seemed to be faced with this do-or-die situation. That? How What's many that? times have we sat here yeah. and said that? And I've, I've, been, I've been maintaining that this time around. <laughs> when they needed something in the 11th hour, Argentina have found it. Gab, uh, let's get your take. I know on Friday you believed in Argentina. Has anything changed over the weekend? No, I, I, I still strongly believe in Argentina. I thought they did more than enough against Venezuela and Peru. And, and, you know, the fact is the other guys are trying to play as well. But at some point, you regress to the mean. And I'll throw in Ali's argument as well about people behind closed doors having conversations. Put all those things together, uh, Argentina get the three points.